Hey guys, welcome back. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And, uh, you know, this is a very, very late uh, movie review. And we weren't actually going to do a review on this channel uh, because we haven't seen we hadn't seen the movie in the theater. We bought it on digital. And, uh, you know, we, we just watched it the other night after having it for two weeks on digital because it meant that much to watch it. Yeah. Um, right at Ralph 2. Ralph breaks the internet. Um, well, he broke some stuff, that's for sure. Oh, my God. So... Again, you know, we talked the other day about Captain Marvel, and we mentioned at the end of the Captain Marvel video that we did not feel that Captain Marvel was pushing an agenda uh, too hard. Mm -hmm. Okay, there were a couple jabs at men, but it wasn't pushing an agenda as hard as we expected it to. Wreck It Ralph is like, hold my root beer. Mm -hmm. uh, Wreck It Ralph, nobody in the house like Wreck It Ralph. Nobody, none of us, not our kids, you and I, none of us did. Hated oh. it. Do uh, you want to start? You want to start talking about? No, it's okay. You go ahead. Okay, so Wreck-It Ralph 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet, basically undoes everything about the first movie that worked. Uh, it completely destroys the main characters. I agree. It destroys them, and it breaks its own um, in-world uh, rules, mm -hmm. too, about uh, game jumping. Um, I mean, I don't know how else to, to say it. It's it's Vanellope is a little bitch. And she is. That's what I said. I mean, I'll say some woman. I was like, she's a selfish little bitch. I just don't like her at all in this. She's. Un I mean, she's annoying before, but she's completely unlikable in this one. I don't. I think, you know. And then Ralph, he went from being, you know, hey, he's he goes, he's a good heart and he wants to do the right thing, but you know, he's always this is the bad guy. Went from that to being a needy, clingy, uh, toxic masculinity asshole. Yeah, for no good reason. Like no. they 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 flipped the switch on these characters and made them completely completely unlikable they took a, an innocent sweet relationship from the first movie and they turned it into a bad tumblr fanfic written by somebody going through a messy divorce yeah it, it screams divorce to me the whole it thing does it was horrible it was horrible what they did to these characters and uh you know for all those people being like you're disney shills hell no this 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 movie we um, love Disney. Don't get us wrong. We do love Disney. Yeah, but I did not we like love the this parks. Movie at all. And we like some of their movie, but this was not one of the ones we liked. And we <laughs> so, loved we loved Wreck It Ralph. We loved I the original. Wreck It Ralph. The original is great. And now this is one of those movies that, frankly, it, you you watch it and it sort of like retroactively makes the first one bad because now you know what happens to these characters and it they, they don't they don't wind up in a very good place. Mm -mm. Um, Ralph is treated horribly, uh, and again it, it comes down to Vanellope who. You know, she's supposed to be the princess of her game world, and she just decides, yeah, I'm bored. I'm yeah, bored. I'm bored. It's not as much I want. I need more. I need more. I need more than Ralph. I need more than my people and my, you know, candy kingdom I'm taking care of. I'm bored, so I'm going to go jump over to the internet and uh, go go hang out. Well, she's with... actually trying to save her game originally. O originally, she's trying to save her game. But she's basically decides, yeah, hey, the grass is greener over here, so I'm going to ditch everybody I know and love, and I'm going to go over to this this uh, other game world, this death race uh, world, and um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm just going to hang out over there, and, and this person I just met, she's going to be my new best friend slash mentor, and uh, Ralph can eat shit. Pretty much. And then Ralph gets mad, and then Ralph is the bad guy. Yeah. Because he's Ralph... He's too controlling. They keep stressing. He can't do anything unless she's there. Like, she's going to leave. We're never apart. Like, he's trying to be like one of those, those clingy men who don't let women have a life. That's how he portrayed him as. Yeah, it was... Yeah, it was creepy. And it's creepy, too, because you realize, like, Ralph is an adult. and she, Now, they're video game characters, but Ralph's an adult, and she's, like, a 12-year-old. You know, it's yeah. like, eh, it's kind of weird. Um, but, yeah, just the way they they did it was just disgusting. Well, they keep making a, Ralph, like, super clingy, super clingy. Like, it's okay, Ralph, and, and we can disagree. Like, they just agree to disagree. And he's like, what's that supposed to mean? And she's like, you know, it doesn't mean anything, you know? And, and he's all upset because, you know, that they don't agree on everything. And I'm like... What? And then they go to the internet, and he's trying so hard. He go, he puts himself through all this stuff to save her game, and and then she, all she wants to do is hang out with the other girl in the race world. Yeah. And then he, and then she, he tries calling her, and she has it turned off. So but it turns on. He overhears her saying some things like, you know, I can't tell Ralph. He wouldn't take it very well if I, he knew I wanted to be here. And then he's mad, which some he should be. Stranger, she just met. Doesn't even right. know this person. Throws him under the bus. And he'd be mad. Of course he would be. And then she takes it that she has a right to be mad because, you know, he was spying on her and he wasn't. No. He was out there trying, busting his ass, trying to save her game. Right. To help her. 
And then, anyway, we're spoiling all this. So if you no, I don't care. It's, it's nothing and to then, watch. It's a garbage he, he, movie. Because he's a it's bad a person. Movie. Because he's a bad person, he releases a virus into the the was it slaughterhouse? Is that the game? Yeah, slaughter. He releases slaughter a virus. Yeah. Slaughter race, whatever it was, could which might have been slaughterhouse. He <laughs> releases a vi- releases a virus that looks for insecurity. Yeah, I'm like yeah, insecurity, really, and it reads her, and it says thirty percent insecure, and then it tries it, you know, then the game has to reboot, um, and then he gets her out of there before she gets erased because you know, like the other world, it's not she's not part of the code. If something happens to the game, she dies. They just ignore all the logic, internal logic of the first movie in this one anyway because her like you know they talk about how you know leaving a game going to another game is, has disastrous consequences right you shouldn't do it don't Hell go no. turbo don't go turbo unless she goes, you're a vanellope then you can do whatever the hell you yeah want. you can do whatever you want because you're vanellope and you got girl power and yeah. you can go do what you want and the princesses you know? all came across they came out they came across as stupid to me um and you know vanellope's our new leader and they're kind of stupid anyway um but like yeah so then the the, the 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 worm gets out the virus gets out into they said don't let it get out it got out of the game and now it's on the internet and this time it scans ralph and it says a hundred percent insecure i'm like really this ranks up there with the marvel movie where the thing scans nick fury and is like oh yeah human mill you know no threat you yeah know? I, know, I know i'm like really and so, because he's insecure, and then this virus comes, that's mad that they, it, the virus becomes a big, big him that wants Vanellope because no one else can be her friend because he's a controlling tool. And he learns from watching that what this, that his, how his toxic masculinity and his controlling nature um, was unfair to Vanellope, even though she was being a, a petty bitch the entire time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, this whole, the whole <laughs> plot of the movie comes from Vanellope being an awful person. Yeah, and then everybody else has to clean up her mess. Mm-hmm. I'm but, like, they, but, they, but they're 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 the bad guys, and she's the good guy. She's the good guy. She can do whatever the hell she wants to do, and everybody else is supposed to accommodate Vanellope and be okay with her shitty, selfish decisions. Mm-hmm. Has nothing to do with her being a woman. She's a selfish bitch. Yeah, she's a little brat. You know? and, she's yeah. a brat, and everybody is, you know, just like, oh well, it's okay, Vanellope. You can break all the game rules, and it's okay. You know, you can. That's right. This, that mean man is that just mean man's trying, trying to, to you control back. you because he, you know, you're his only friend, and he, he's, he's a hundred percent insecure. He can't handle it. He's trying to keep you from making new friends. Um, but, you know, ultimately, he has to go back and be part of the game and, and his best friend somewhere else. And she's doing her thing and he's doing his thing, but they're still friends. They talk once a week now. They talk once a week, yeah. Yeah. I'm um, like, just get rid of her and don't bring her any Burger Time burgers because I she doesn't deserve right. the Burger she Time burgers. Deserve. And what about all the what about all the uh, the other players she left behind in her game, you know? Yeah, they hadn't got the like, same. Well, they'd all be homeless or you know wiped out and what okay so then they they, they established this game that if you're not part of the code if that's not your native game and the power goes out uh you're gone forever what if somebody oops trips and and knocks the server offline for this game she jumped to is she dead yeah I, I, apparently I mean, because does anybody yeah, care the world yeah i don't know the whole thing's stupid it just it doesn't even make sense it, and this this is one where the whole movie the whole purpose of this movie was essentially to smack men down. It was no, it was, like, no, I don't think that was the whole purpose. That was the second purpose. The first purpose of the movie was to promote Disney and oh my god, oh, yeah, it was a commercial for it Disney's was, other Disney, stuff. Every, yeah. I mean, Disney owns it was a commercial for them and the, and the sponsors they got on the internet to give them money to, to promote them. Oh my god, okay, so that that's another thing too. Like, Wreck It Ralph, the original, is is going to age well because we're talking about classic video games that are still around today and, and there's no actual time given to when Wreck-It Ralph right. takes place. It, you know, I always thought it was like late 80s, early 90s. Apparently, it's newer than that because we've got Whitlock has an iMac, you know, uh-huh. which could be secondhand or whatever. But all the websites are today's websites, are. right? So 10 years from now, when half of these websites are offline, this movie is going to look so ridiculously dated. It's, it's going to be like having a movie with like uh, about MySpace or GeoCities or something like that. <laughs> like, nobody's going to give a shit. The kids are going to not go watch this movie in 20 years and be like, what the hell is Snapchat? What's what a was, live journal? No, what, sorry, no, yeah, sorry, no, no exactly. That. That's what I'm saying. It was like Yahoo. What's that? You know, this movie is going to age so badly, yeah. so badly. This is such. This movie is such a product of its time. And the thing that, that gets me is that like Jennifer Lee had a very heavy hand in this movie, mm-hmm. and she is taking over uh, for John Lasseter. And I am concerned about the Disney movies going forward because. This was a shitty sequel. This it really was. was. Not a and good then there movie. was some quote they had from her for International Women's Day about talking about you know reaching people and about listening to criticism. And I'm like, well, I got some criticism for you. This was a bad idea. Do not do this again. 
I mean, I this whole stop, just stop. You know, the first movie was great because it, 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 there wasn't a, there wasn't like a really heavy-handed agenda. It was just a good movie because it was a good movie and it was fun. And it seems like these movies you cannot just have a damn good movie that's a good movie because it's fun. No, 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 we have to put in there that women are better. I mean, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm a woman. I want my daughter to know she has power and everything else too. But I'm like, I don't want her to think she's better than men and the men are just out there to control her. Yeah, and that's the message you're left with. Like, Ralph was trying to do the right thing. He was helping his friend. Well, even the way the game got broken, she was whining that she was bored. So he's like, fine, I'll go make you a new track since you're my friend. And she loved that he did. And yeah, and then, well, it broke the game because it was too rough, whatever, and the steer steering wheel broke off. But, but I mean, he bent over backwards. Like, the entire purpose of the, the first movie was he, he accommodated her. Like, he bent over backwards to help her. And, and she just, like, spit in his face in this mm. movie it's disgusting because she wants like, to be a racer that's where she belongs well she could she but what about ralph ralph does ralph so the message this movie is you can be selfish and you can not consider your friends and the people that you know are left behind in your family and stuff don't have to consider them at all you follow your dream even if it puts the screws to everybody else pretty much and if, and if your best friend who happens to be a man is upset by this well he's just a selfish misogynist and you know what he needs to learn that his 100 percent insecurity isn't your problem I mean, it would have been That's the same. That that yeah, pretty much. I mean, it would have been the same movie if if it was a female character. Mm -hmm. You know, she's basically just a shitty, selfish person. Mm -hmm. You know, and they ruined her. They completely ruined Vanellope. Like, I have no. Don't even make a Wreck It Ralph three. I have no desire to see it. My kids don't want to see. We it. didn't go see this one because I heard that this is kind of what happened. I didn't think it was gonna be that bad. I didn't though. think it was gonna be that bad. I'm like, either. I'm like, okay, they'll have some schmaltz. Like, they wouldn't go there. They're not that stupid. princess stuff. And I'm like, the whole damn movie was about. Everybody has to cater to Vanellope. Yeah. And, and she's a selfish cow. She is a selfish cow the whole movie. I, I, can't, I don't even like her anymore. My kids, the target audience, my daughter, the target audience of this, hated it. She hates it. She never wants she to watch it again. She loved the first one. She loves the, the first, first one. one. Hates this, has no desire to ever see it again. And she's the target demographic. And it was dark. It was really dark. I mean, not just the... Not just the uh, the relationship with Vanellope and Ralph, which again they took this like really innocent thing and they turned it into this like it was twisted, it was weird, twisted, weird, messy divorce breakup. But now this guy like he thinks that she can't have any friends and he's trying to control her. This big guy's trying to control yeah, her. It was weird. It, uh, it's it was, weird. How the hell do you explain that to kids? But beyond that, just the imagery was really dark. Like when Ralph goes to the dark web and they've got these like really disgusting creatures and it's just a dark movie. It's a very depressing dark movie like this is not what i wanted from wreck it ralph and yeah i know i'm just i'm just a 40 year old man and uh, you know brie larson doesn't need my opinion about wreck it ralph well but, my daughter's demographic and she thinks it sucked so. yeah, it, was, it was awful and yeah and we're so, pro disney from a lot of, like the parks and and, and some of their movies i mean star wars and, and mcu i'm like eh. yeah but like a lot of other stuff like you're like these kind of things we love normally like incredibles incredibles too like we love it this one just was... I'm like, how can you screw this up? They did. They managed to. But like I said, what concerns me as a, a fan of Disney animation is the fact that Jennifer Lee, uh, who had a heavy hand in this movie, and you know, I know. she's turned I, frozen. I know, I mentioned that to you. Yeah, yeah. she's going to be running the show at Disney Animation after John Lasseter. Um, and if we're going to get more movies like this, I'm like... DreamWorks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. Well, no, no you can't. They took Shira. Yeah. <laughs> God, we'll as long as it's not another, Shira. Find another option. Illumination something. But I'm like, yeah, when, you're, when your daughter uh, even watched this, it was like, God, they ruined these characters. And and that's bad. That's just totally yeah, missing more. She always loved princesses. And she's like, why are the princesses acting like that? You know, I mean, she and she likes them. I mean, now she's getting older, not so much. But she's always been a huge princess fan. Yeah. I mean, the girl's got a bunch of princess aprons she wears to the parks all the time. Oh, I mean, she it. loves princesses. And she's even like, what And even the, the princesses, heck? they used them to, you know, it was like, it was, God, it was just, and then the rest of the movie, like you said, was just a commercial for other Disney products. Um, so this one was a complete fail for me. I mean, I, you know, I, this movie made me almost as angry as The Last Jedi. It did. Uh, just because it was like, it wasn't, like, this wasn't, you know, our generation's thing. I did enjoy the first movie, but it's like they ruined these characters for our kids' generation. Yeah. You know, kind of like they ruined Luke in, in Last Jedi. And I, I was I was angry. I actually got to watch him. What the, the hell was that? What the hell was that? Yeah, and there was clearly, I mean, there's clearly agenda against men in this. Even the princesses, which you guys all probably saw that trailer, yeah. where they're like, you know, are you, were you this, were you that? No, should I call the police? It's like, is some big strong man always telling you, you know, what to do? Yeah, whatever he said. Yeah. Yes! You are a princess! I'm like, really? Really? Yeah, I know. I know. So stupid. So, 
Uh, any final thoughts on Wreck-It Ralph 2? No, I'm just tired of this crap. I'm just sick of it. I don't want to have good movies that are good movies without having some kind of gender politics in them. Yeah, well, I'm afraid we're going to get more of this. Like I said, Captain Marvel, we expected... See, we, we watched this the night before Captain Marvel. We expected Captain Marvel to be this movie. We did oh, not Captain expect... Marvel was nowhere near as bad no, as this. No, no. Um, but this is where I think things are going. This is what I'm afraid of with the MCU post post Captain Marvel is that it's going to be more well, of they, they can do it. What's going to happen is people aren't going to go. No. So, you know, people are going to get sick of it. So no. anyway. Wreck-It Ralph 2. Uh, they wrecked Ralph. They Ra wrecked... Go watch the first one. The first one's amazing. The second one. first yeah. one's great. This is a dumpster fire. I, I can't recommend it. Um, unless you've got absolutely nothing else to watch. Yeah. Uh, I, I give it like a two. <laughs> um, I give it that. So, so be like a two you. out of ten. Um, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Technical achievements. The graphics were nice. The graphics were nice. Yeah. So other than that, it's it's a complete failure for me. Mm -hmm. That was garbage. Yeah, it was it was not good. All right, so we're going to wrap this one up? Yeah. Okay, so please subscribe to Clownfish TV for more pop culture news, views, rants, gaming videos, art videos, and more, and occasional reviews. This has been Neon and Geeky. Bye. Goodbye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.